In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. As a teacher, I've internalized this message. Every day all around us, we see the consequences of silence manifest themselves in the form of discrimination, violence. Everybody out here dying, I can hear it through the silence. Baby says she over crying, I said we won't simplify it. Media will say we violent, preachers saying we ain't righteous. Devil come with the impious, hard to see it when you blinded. Traumatizing all the minors, hearing all the things we writing. No direction with the riot. No protection is provided No exceptions for your diets This one will eat you up if you invite it I gotta speed this up, I see the time is just ticking And I wanna do more than sign it Look in the sky for the signs that you sighting Writing my will with no skill how to cite it I got the best friend who learned in the pilot I guess my exit plan will just include flying I got a bruise on my heel from us hiking Foot ain't been healed so there's no chance in biking How can I get through this mountain? They climbing the Bible say move with the faith that's inside me A seed that's just tiny, mama I'm shining Can you see light in here? God like the lightning Can we call all them little kids out of hiding? Can we call all of the people in crisis? And I realized that if I was going to ask my students to speak up I was going to have to tell my truth and be honest with them about the times where I failed to do so. So I tell them that growing up as a kid in a Catholic family in New Orleans, during Lent, I was always taught that the most meaningful thing one could do was to give something up, sacrifice something you typically indulge in to prove to God you understand his sanctity. I've given up soda, McDonald's, French fries, French kisses, and everything in between. But one year, I gave up speaking. Figured the most valuable thing I could sacrifice was my own voice, but it was like I hadn't realized that I had given that up a long time. I had spent so much of my life telling people the things they wanted to hear instead of the things they needed to. Told myself I wasn't meant to be anyone's conscience because I still had to figure out being my own, so sometimes I just wouldn't say anything. Appeasing ignorance with my silence, unaware that validation doesn't need words to endorse its existence. When Christian was beat up for being gay, I put my hands in my pocket and walked with my head down as if I didn't even notice. Couldn't use my locker for weeks because the bolt on the lock reminded me of the one I had put on my lips.